I am going to try and do a quick story time um, while my son is over there being quiet. I don't know how long that's going to last, but we're just going to try and get done quickly. Um, for those of you that are returning back to my channel, hello, how are you doing? How have you been? It's been so long. If you are new to my channel, um, this is Life with B. I am B. Mommy. I, yes, baby. Mom. I am a Hi. vlogger. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. I am a vlogger. Hi, baby. That not only vlogs cruising and vacations, lifestyle, things like that. If you are new here, um, subscribe. Come on and join. Come on and join the gang. Join the gang. We have fun over here. We just like to travel and have fun. We mind our business, so. really. As you know, per the last few videos, I did. Um, pack with me essentials um, for my son's first cruise. It's gonna be his second birthday. I wanted to take him on a cruise. We got everything packed. I got over the anxiety and the nerves and everything. Get to the airport and there's delays. So I'm trying to be as patient as I can. I pack snacks, I pack games, things for us to do. Our flight was supposed to leave at around, around lunchtime because that's his nap time. And that just works best for me. Um, so, that flight got pushed back once, and then the next one got canceled, and then the next one got delayed. So our layover was in New York. We finally get to New York, eight o'clock at night. We get at eight o'clock at night, and because there was the delay with the flight prior and the cancellation and all of those things, there's no more flights leaving out going to uh, Orlando where I need to catch my groups. So I'm panicking and I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do? This is why I fly the day before and I give myself more than enough time for things like this. So <clears throat> I'm trying to do backup plans like, okay, well, you know, I can rent a car. Um, I can get to Jacksonville or Orlando, rent a car and drive down there but it's eight o'clock at night. So that means I would be doing this either late at night, just myself and my son, or very early in the morning. Um, and there's no guarantee that I have availabilities for rentals. And there's no guarantee that they are going to have car seats for me to rent. And that they aren't going to um, hike the prices up because I'm doing a one way, even though it's literally in the same state. You just never know how sometimes I decide to do things. So <clears throat> I was in New York. I just got frustrated with it all. I said, you know what? This isn't going to work. I ah. canceled. I to New York and I had to have my friend come pick me up, take me to Target last minute before they closed. I had to get my son a car seat, little things like toothbrush, toothpaste, body wash, just small toiletries. Um, because I wanted to be as hands-free as possible with him. I had a book bag, but in the book bag, it was like change of clothes, diapers, wipes, stuff like that, not toiletries. So I had to go run and get that done, hurry up and book a hotel, um, because we were literally in the airport from 10 o'clock that morning until eight o'clock, and all we did was get from Norfolk to New York. I could have got there driving that same amount of time. like. Anyway, <clears throat> did all that. I called the cruise. Um, I called the cruise line. Let them know I wasn't coming. Flight delays. They asked me, was I okay? Did I need anything? Was there anything, anything that they could do to help? And I said, no, it's okay. She said, if you have insurance, go ahead and file an insurance claim. I said, okay. She said, you can either file an insurance claim, or um, I can see how much future cruise credit we can give you. The future cruise credit was literally like a slap in the face. It was less than taxes and port fees, not including the fare. I was like, what am, what am I going to do with this? I said, no, I'll just do my insurance. Because at this point, my luggage is already in Orlando, sitting there waiting. I'm in New York. The whole process with the insurance took about six to eight weeks. Uh, they didn't really ask too many questions. So they asked you to submit all the documentation supporting the claim and 
they say, hey, if you decide to not take this future cruise credit, sign and send it back and then we will move forward. I sent all my stuff in, letting them know my luggage was delayed, pre-cruise hotel, all of the things that they said was a part of the travel insurance. I ended up just getting back part of the cruise fare. I didn't get back the entire amount for my son and I, um, and I didn't get back the free cruise hotel. I didn't get back the um, for the luggage or the things that I had to pay for the luggage. My luggage being delayed, I didn't get any of that. So, um, what I think I'm gonna do from now on is like go through another one, not through not through the cruise lines travel insurance is what I'm trying that to say. That cruise didn't happen. That was, um, I think that was just supposed to happen. I'm not upset about it. I asked the lady at the airport, I said, well, what, like, what is going on? What is causing it? One time I know it was because it was raining. That was one of the delays. But the cancellation, what she was telling me was because they're short staffed, if the flight crew starts traveling five, six o'clock that morning, they're only allowed to be in the air for a certain amount of time. So in this case, this flight was supposed to leave, I think at six or something like that. They maxed out on their air hours. Seven yeah. and a half Hold on. My first time and hopefully my last time me ever missing a cruise. Um, I, I, at first I was like, it's okay. Like all of the hustle and bustle all day of being at the airport, I'm just ready to go home. Like at this point, take me home, let me get into my bed, let me wash, like just just let me decompress. But as the day, when I was back home, the day as the cruise was like supposed to be leaving and boarding, I was like, dang, I'm supposed to be checking in right now. Dang, I'm supposed to be doing my mustard drill right now. Dang, this is a sailway party right now. You know what I'm saying? But it's okay. Everything happens for a reason. Um, I would suggest if you are leaving for a cruise or if you are planning to travel, period, um, just pack your patience. Um, allow extra time for things to happen. Allow for delays, allow for things like that. So if they don't happen, great, perfect. Everything is amazing. If it does happen, you're not flustered, you don't miss anything and on uh, a little bit of comfort knowing that you have in that built-in buffer you know um so we're here now we're here now i have um another cruise literally we're getting ready to go I on am. tomorrow sorry that i had disappeared for a while y'all i had to have um, surgery that took me down for a few weeks so it was hard um moving around and stuff so sitting for too long wouldn't have been an option. Um, and then after I started feeling better with my body, I caught a little cold. Not COVID, just a little cold. And after that, I had to get ready for the cruise that we are leaving to go on tomorrow. So I haven't had time, I'm sorry. Tomorrow we are getting on the Carnival Sunrise. Um, leaving out of Port of Miami. Um, it's gonna be a, a do-over. Sun's here. I'm quite sure y'all can hear them around. Ask me to watch Jack Jack Powers in the background. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to come in, do a quick check, check in, um, do a quick story time and let you know. Um, it's not that I went on the cruise and didn't do the footage. The cruise didn't happen. So that's why there's the cruise footage. But I will, of course, be documenting the cruise with you tomorrow. And like always, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how you would have handled it. How you prepare for your um, cruises. Do you leave a day before, like two days before? Do you fly in the day before? What do you do to calm or maybe like keep yourself level-headed when this, the delays and things like that happen. How do you handle that? Because it would have been fine if it was just me, but me and him, thank God the lady that was working um, at the ticket counter, 
she was just so nice. She used to be a teacher. So she was like down on the floor with him. She was like, no, no, I understand. Like, it's okay, I understand. She was like, just sit down for a second. <laughs> so, you could just see me getting flustered, but I really appreciate it. I appreciate her going out of her way, seeing that, you know, hold on, wait, she needs a little break. He's mommying her to death. And, um, yeah, this is it for now, y'all. I will see you shortly. I will be uploading videos. Y'all have a good day. Be safe. And I'll see y'all in the next vlog.